This morning, there are disturbing claims that a student with autism was raped twice during school hours. Those accusations are now the foundation of a lawsuit against the Wentzville School District. Our Sydney Stallworth is live for us in Wentzville this morning with more on this horrifying story. Sydney. Allie Rennie, this federal lawsuit claims that the Wentzville School District was negligent in the care of this student on more than one occasion. According to the lawsuit, this student who has autism was raped twice at two different schools by fellow students. Now, the lawsuit reads that in September 2020, while this student was 15, she was raped at a home off campus by a fellow student at a high school in the Wentzville School District. Her teachers failed to notice she was missing after lunch after her guardian reported her missing. The Wentzville Police Department eventually found the student at a residence two miles away from the school. The girl was homeschooled after this incident because even after police identified him, the young man still attended the high school. Now the next year she enrolled at a different Wentzville District High School. The lawsuit claims this student was raped in the girl's restroom at the second school by an older student who had autism as well in January of 2022. Now the lawsuit Lawsuit says Wentzville School District did not contact police and the suit says according to the district, the female student gave consent to the act and that because she was 16 at the time, it wasn't a criminal act. Now her guardian says because of where this student falls on the autistic spectrum, she cannot give consent. Now this lawsuit claims that the Wentzville School District was made aware of the fact that this student has autism and that she cannot be left unattended. We did reach out to the Wentzville School System for comment. We reached out to their communications officer. I'm waiting to hear back this morning. But for now, live in Wentzville, Sydney Stallworth, 5 on your side.